Hey everybody, Beardo Dude here with a new Let's Play series. This one's Star Renegades and it just came out September 8th. I'm gonna play this one all the way through. So basically it's a uh, turn-based uh, RPG roguelite with some really interesting battle mechanics. I played a couple hours just to get the hang of it before starting the series. So. I'm also skipping the tutorial, which gives kind of some of the backstory. Basically, your sister is like this major commander, and she gets killed by these uh, dudes that are like shifting dimensions and wiping out all civilization. So, it looks pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, General Geden, Geden, he's like the leader of all the troops and stuff. So, sorry about that. The engineer said the landing would be smoother. I've gone through worse landings lately. As long as you have J5T, sir, as long as you and J5T survived, it's success in my book. And this is Professor Zurich, so she's basically like the main like R&D scientist person that knows what's going on and how to help. You should help your companions with their pods. It seems they're having a little trouble with the hatches. And this little robot dude is supposed to help a lot too. He got sent through like uh, one of the dimension portals from one of the planets or one of the realities or dimensions or whatever that got totally wiped out. How was the trip? All praise Lord Batula for delivering us safely to the battlefield. Yeah, Titans be praised, etc, etc. I get it. You're going to try to convert me, alright? Alright, so get the other guy. Nodo Calthoris. He's locked and loaded, ready to roll out. Just talking like a space marine. Don't like it? Yeah, why don't you do that? No problemo. Normal it is, boyo. Enough chit chat. Move out and take control of the Imperium base. Kill anything that slows you down. Don't get cocky, though. One of their elite officers will be stationed at the base, and you'll have to get through him. We'll be in contact to provide mission specs along the way. A lock and load boils. Time to tag and bag some Imperium drones. Now roll out. My spiritual teachings tell me both paths are favored for our objective. Your, wis your wisdom clearly knows no bounds. These fundamental I like that fundamentalists aren't big on sarcasm. This is true. We preach a radical form of honest discourse devoid of exaggeration or any form of subtlety. You do? No, that was my dis demonstration of sarcasm to you, idiot human. Not bad. Alright, so basically the way it works is you kind of move into different sectors and there will be enemies sometimes. Sometimes there will be goodies, like this DNA vat that's for XP. Uh, food food cards which I'll kind of get into later all the paths are pretty decent so I went this way so we'll try going this way and see how it is we got these Titan hands yeah camping card reward so I'll I'll kind of explain that to you guys later mystery the magic the mystique of Titan hands in the end it's just a hand but a really really old hand I dare you to go stand inside that hand, don't worry, they never squeeze shut. Well, almost never. Alright, so we'll get into combat in a second here. So yeah, see we got some DNA, you can use that to level up your characters. We go take on this, uh, this bro bro here. So we got two enemies. Basically the way it works is this is like the scale of time like when people get to do their actions and depending on the type of action you take it can take longer so she does slash compared to cleave but then also if you crit or you hit the enemies it'll push their timer out further so like if we start with uh, robot dude he doesn't like an AoE attack and he will push all of them back or both of them back as you can see and then like we can get this guy do his regular attack we can push that one back and then uh, you can almost do it without messing things up but we'll uh, almost kill shot 
this dude if we do. See, so yeah, I'll let you see how the combat kind of plays out. And then as you level, you get more and more uh, stuff, basically. Should almost, yeah, he's almost dead. So the next turn, they started different positions. And if you hit them to where their little avatar goes all the way past, then they completely skip the turn. And we can also inspect them. So you can kind of like see if they have weaknesses and stuff. So ground in when stunned, but you can also see where they're going to attack and what they're going to do. So better to get a, the final blow on this guy before he unleashes his power where he's going to share his shield basically. So it uh it's pretty interesting it's not early access it's fully finished so there's that you know uh so let's see you don't have to worry too much because we should be able to take these guys out so is he kill shot yeah so you can see on the right there it's flashing kill shot so then we'll have the other two guys the girl and the guy attack the other ones. And he'll pretty much waste his turn redistributing the shields. But we see we break him. So that means he gets pushed out to the next turn. Usually they end up somewhere here. Yeah, so he's got pretty pretty quick chance to move, but he's just gonna be distributing shields, so we'll just easy peasy lemon squeezy take him out. So yeah, that was enough to end up you get some DNA. And then this is like the elite guy that we need to take out. So yeah, one down. You can't go back on this one. In the next map, you actually are able to. Precipice bit of machinery. Looks like they aren't online though. Bad time for the Imperium to take a bathroom break. Now we have their guns. Sometimes a big gun is just a big gun. So there's little points of interest and stuff. They don't always do stuff. So I went this way because I was like, okay, we can get some extra DNA. And you can see down here. Yeah, yeah. We can level up our dudes. We have 11, so we could level one up. I probably level... Actually, you could level both of these two up already. So she's kind of the main character. And then we'll get this guy up to level two. And that'll help a lot um, when we're fighting him. And in the in the battle with the uh, kind of the epic dude, which is the next one. If we went the other way, you get some uh, more equipment. We'll also get equipment from this one. If I kill these guys, if I kill these guys, then we can all go home, probably. Alright, so this is the, the dude. He's the main dude, so we probably want to try to take out his bro first. And you can also like decide who you want to attack first. Or like which uh, moves you want to go first, so you can kind of plan out. So like we can push him back, now they're both that far back. And we can try to see, I think we'll be able to finish him off. If not, I think it redirects. We'll see what happens. She got enough. So we didn't completely get him back. Oh, he almost did. Light makes right. Okay, so he was almost dead, so we can use his kind of AoE. The thing to keep in mind, too, is the shield. And you can also see who's going to attack who. So if we kill him first, obviously he's not going to be able to attack her, bro. We're just worried about her. But we can take an extra turn before doing some support skills. 
So yeah, we'll break him and he'll go into the next turn cycle. And he won't get to attack us right now. One of them down. Pushed them back. You can also break their armor. The armor they have actually softens the blow, of, like the hits. So they're, he's down to zero armor, so all of her damage will go through completely. Let's see, he's gonna attack her. We'll defend her. And this guy, he's got um, he's got a support skill that lets you put the shields back, but we're really not gonna need that because this dude's about to die. Uh, and trick shot, this one's pretty awesome actually. Was it? Yeah, so we'll actually could stun him and not even take any more damage. So now he's stunned, and that pushes him into the next turn. Although, we shouldn't have defended them, that wasn't really a good idea. But we should be able to finish him off. With everybody's normal melee skills here, or attack skills. And with these elite guys too, once they get to a certain point, they'll actually try to retreat as well. So you gotta watch out for that. So now there's like this big board of all the dudes you gotta kill to get to the main boss man. A gift from the Titans to help us cleanse the holy land of the heathen Imperium. So we can get some of their tech. So these are all decent. I think the particle blade is kind of nice. We'll get that. So, and then she's also high enough level because you'll see there's like that number in the top left there. Yeah, so their attack's more advanced than ours, so we should steal it whenever. Titans do not appear to have gifted the Imperium soldiers with reason, however. My best guess is a cross quantum journey takes a toll on brain functions. This would explain why they're networked into advanced AI neural networks. So yeah, it's like pretty complicated with the story. It's all a bunch of sci-fi kind of mumbo jumbo, but the combat's pretty fun. Well, it's another guess why they refer to this AI as mother. So you're telling us we're facing an army of mindless, psychotic drone soldiers with mommy issues, basically. So you can see the other paths are blocked off, so we only have the option to move forward. Now their base belongs to you, you're in a break. Set up camp, get some rest, and we'll push on in the morning. So this is the next mechanic. You go into like camping mode. All right, so yeah, the camping allows you heroes to rest and gain affection for each other. They have different cards. Some of them are temporary, you know, they usually cost these action points, which you'll see at the top. And then uh, it also increases your like affinity or affection towards the other companions between each other, which can set up for combos and stuff, which are pretty cool. You see that more in the tutorial. So nobody really took any damage, so we don't need to use the heal health. We'll use the... Um, repairs 25% armor plus 2 max armor. So yeah, we'll use it. This guy doesn't seem to have anything really. So we'll see if that helps him. All right, and then each one kind of has their own. So because we we killed the boss, they have a special car that doesn't cost any action points. And then he has max shields. I usually give it to this guy because he has the the smallest <coughs> smallest shields. And then he doesn't have any more cards to play. She is the health one. And then we'll, uh, we'll give it to her. And now they're becoming friends. And then we're pretty much done. I don't need to use the bandage one. That's to heal health. They're all pretty good. So we'll, uh, we'll leave for now and go into the next day of battle. It's basically when it <clears throat> starts to get a bit more interesting. 
So all the guys on this planet will open up. And they're all available to fight in the next map. And you can check out <clears throat> like their weaknesses and stuff. Their elite level. They're immune to time delays. Um, and then just like some of their stuff. They hate normal attacks. So they become angry if you use normal attacks. You can kind of do the same for all of them. So we're good to go on that. I, I have looked at these guys already when I played earlier. So we'll squinch on past. The mission update <clears throat> and now the Imperium can only open small temporary dimensional gates but they found a way around this but this constraint by using Titan core and ancient ore buried beneath the ground the Titan planets the atomic structure of these cores has a high degree of quantum stability if the Imperium manages to get a hold of this energy source, they'll be able to open up a dimensional gate that's stable and big enough to bring in full-scale invasion. So we'll have the entire fleet to deal with. That's just great. So you grasp <clears throat> the gravity of the situation. We'll just have to make sure you never get to the Titan Core. We've learned that the Imperium will send in a behemoth to remove the Titan Core in three days. You have to stop them to thwart their plans. Um, so they have four seals and the J5T robot is the only one that can actually break those, but he can only break three per day. So basically you can break through nine different spots, which is what they'll explain here. You have different charges, then you go to sleep. Um, we can, we'll make our bro bro here robot bro get up so he's got a new power and that's all we really need for right now we don't have a ton of equipment Let's see what's up with the city cyber here yeah most of interdimensional invaders so um this actually looks slightly different than how it did before so I did kind of want to try to take on all the elite dudes because there's one there but did generate slightly different from when I did it before is there just the one elite guy oh there's an elite guy down here and then there's the elite guy there and there so we probably want to go this way. <clears throat> so we tell the breach. And then now we engage in combat. And these guys shouldn't be too tough. And basically your shields regenerate after each battle as well, which is kind of nice. Um, let's I usually like to start off with him. Because he'll get some of the people out. So he'll almost be broken. We'll push him out. And then... Actually, you know what? Oops. Now nah, let's... We'll push this bro bro back. So then we can cleave. And we'll kill shot this dude. See, so knocking him back. Crate doesn't really mean crit and then like generally you think like you're doing like massive more damage I think it just more or less means that you get a really good hit on them I don't I think most of the hits will actually say critical so yeah and then you can kind of see they're aiming for different people on this roll through so probably what we could do is well, yeah, just about anything would knock them into the next turn, so we can do that. We'll cleave on one of them, and then I'll have him shoot the other one. So that'll break all three of them, and all two of them. 
and then we can deal with whatever they're gonna do on the next turn. See how he broke him. And then she's gonna break him. They're both near death. But you can see they're pretty close to when they can attack. Uh, and you also have this Fury, so whenever you're doing attacks, you basically get access to special skills. I haven't actually used his yet, the Titan Strength. But, um... Yeah, we can... let's see. So that would push them back. And then he can kill shot him. And we wouldn't even... I even think, what, we probably got hit once or twice. So yeah, there's a lot of strategy in how you time out what hits you're gonna do and stuff. Oh, he still had enough to attack. So he had enough shields to take that. He's only gonna be like one more hit, so... We'll just spam. I kind of like his, the trick shot. She has one that's battle cry, which increases how much damage is done on the enemy. That's pretty helpful too. So let's see. I don't think there was anything over here necessarily. Doesn't look like it at least. So we'll move on to the next battle. So I think this guy, yeah, so this guy's a lot bigger than the other ones we've fought so far. So he's gonna be pretty tricky. So let's take a look at him and see his effects. So he has he has good resistance against uh, fire damage. So yeah, she's got battle cry, but we'll hold off. Actually, we'll do her heavy attack, and then his. So he's gonna get pushed back pretty far starting off. He doesn't appear to have any shields either. Looks like it's purely health. sword attack there and he got pushed back decently but now he has zero the zero means we can't actually push him back with any attacks but what we can do is use this guy's trick shot to stun him and then he can't attack this turn he gets pushed back another turn so basically we just get even more damage on him before he can actually attack us It's enough to end him, but pretty close. I can't push him back anymore either. I don't think. Alright, so he's pretty close. I don't think we can push him back no more. But we can finish him off. Sweet. He didn't even take a single hit. I mean, it's not guaranteed what it tells you is gonna happen is gonna happen because there's like rolls and stuff but pretty safe to say that it would happen um yeah we'll get his his camp card's pretty useful when you start losing health Okay. So the only problem with this is it's going to be automatic attack, basically. So we start with our shields damage, which kind of sucks. That's another big bro. So I think we should be able to do the same kind of combo we did before. See how it goes. Be interesting if we could get through this first day without actually losing any health. Actually, in my first playthrough, my the one guy actually ended up dying, which was not helpful. And uh. Yeah, 
was not fun. Cause then they uh, they actually get like permanent damage unless you do like special things. But, you know, well actually, cause we'll probably get some hits. I'll put his shield back so you can see the support skill. See so, yeah, how he broke his armor. He has no armor left. I think we should be able to finish him off, actually. Yeah. Nice. This is going way more smoothly than my first playthrough. I was still trying to figure out everything. Nice. Alright, so he's out. Got two days. Good luck out there. Be ready with another set of charges in the morning. You can still investigate. So you can still look around the map. And one of the main reasons you want to do that is because you'll have like... They're just one shots. Of DNA and stuff. But it's still pretty good. So there's some credits there. Which I haven't gotten into what the credits do yet. So we get some food. Food is good for health if like we were hurting on that front. So yeah, that's all we needed. So yeah, try to make each other more buddies. So yeah, just kind of pick whoever. I haven't gotten to it where it's actually like shows really useful stuff. Oh, nice. Some whiskey. Let's see. We'll do it with him because we're closer to getting set up for a combo with him. Max shields for two combats. Yeah, we can do both of these. So we'll give him max shield up his shields again. And then he's still got this one. So we'll... We'll bond with her a bit. And then that's pretty much it. Then we move on to the next day. And then you'll start off where you started off, basically. So we've got two more days. Which, so two days, one day, and then zero day is the day when you definitely have to engage. So it did spawn slightly different, which is kind of interesting. All right, we'll see how we handle this. Oh, I thought I, yeah, oh yeah, breathe. It looks like the same guy we've been fighting. Oh no, he looks a little bit different. Laser eyes. So he's actually got um, shields this time. We can check him. He doesn't seem to have any weaknesses. 97 shield, 215 health, so. Might be a little bit tough. So let's see what we do breach wise if we can knock him back far enough. Yeah, because you can only do two. Looks like you can only knock him back twice. So he's going to get a hit on Homegirl here. So you guys can kind of see what it's like when they get hit like doing so well that we're not getting hit at all and we broke his shield so that's good gonna use his laser eyes so that wasn't enough to really destroy our shields which is good and he's already pushed out pretty far so we could do our combo again he's doing a charging skill too so I'm guessing he needs an extra turn to be able to use it or it might just be guaranteed at the end of the turn. I guess we'll see. Yeah, it looks like it was guaranteed. Oh, no. Okay, now he's ready for his death beam. But he's pretty much uh, toast anyways. Not even going to waste any of our fury on him. Yeah, Chica here's going to get the final slash on him. Nice. So another one bites the dust. 
All right, so we got three of these guys. Gonna be a little bit tougher than what we've been dealing with. And there's their effects. I think just that they can get grounded, grounded when stunned, so they stop flying. Um, what was his? I hadn't actually tried his. Can attack any position. Free action is not in the turn, so I don't. I don't know how useful that is. I do like the trick shot. They will do his discharge, which is AOE. We can probably try to do massive attack. All right, let's see. Where's the one that's trying to hit him? You okay, want him to go back, and she can take the hits, and then that should be enough to kill this dude. So we get one down. Though she'll take two attacks, but they shouldn't be too heavy. Let's see, 32. Oh yeah, so it's gonna dip into her health. Oh, not quite. Armor seemed to block some of it. Oh, it did push her back though. So they ended up attacking Robot Bro. Okay, so. What we'll do, we'll do bestow shields on her, and then we'll push this one back, and then we'll break this guy, because he's going to attack our little bro bro over there, and we don't want him to get attacked. That's totally how I would fight with a pistol, look away and then take the shot. That's how the pros do it. Let's see, she got the majority of her shield back. Oh, it was an AoE attack. But not for that much, so now we can pretty much end this guy. And we could push him back a lot of times if we really wanted to. So that'll break him. Because, yeah, if he gets the attack on me, then it's going to push my attack out. So it's something you definitely got to keep in mind. If she wasn't getting attacked, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Alright, so I think we could level up somebody again. See, so yeah, again. Oh, not, not quite. Okay, we're into the double digits now. So we'll... There wasn't anything to unlock here. Other than to try to fight him. So it would be one... And two, so yeah, let's go. I don't think that there's anything to get from there, though. But we can get some equipment if we go fight that guy. And when we fight that guy, we'll be able to get that equipment, which is epic equipment. So we get two more breaches. That's enough to go down there. And then we still got a day. We might be able to make a little bit more progress, too. Okay, so we fought this guy before. He didn't have any weaknesses really, or at least we can't uh, check him out. Let's see, yeah, we'll do our normal. It's coming out to be a lot easier after I actually played through it some. Let's see how yeah, we broke him. We should be able to break through his shield with that. Get the extra shield damage. And he can't get pushed back anymore, but what we'll do. So I'll have her do her heavy attack. He'll do that move, and then I'll have him do his trick shot. I think he's probably got the most useful one, at least for this first part. Oh, I didn't even notice, but it looks like you can skip through all the animations if you really wanted to. That's kind of part of the fun, too. Oh, yeah, so he's pretty messed up. We should be able to, yeah, kill shot. So, yeah, it's all about strategy and trying to plan your attacks, so then you end up basically taking no damage if possible. It's a little bit harder when there's like two or three enemies compared to just one. Oh, we can't even go that way. I got locked off. Well, that's lame. 
I guess the experience, right? I guess. We can't even go anywhere else, really. That was already locked. So, yeah. Man, I want to go take him on. He's a rageaholic. Nice. He's an angry dude. I mean, even then, most of the other, like, I think if we were like, oh, we'll go all the way back around, that's already blocked off, so we can't go that way. But uh, we might be able to go, I think we could go take that guy on too. So let's uh, level up first. We gotta get him to level three. So now everybody's level three. So he gets more health, and he gets another card. Preach. That should be pretty good. So you can have up to six squad mates, and after we do this, we'll basically be able to um, to get into that. Can you take me on? The power of Imperium so it flows through my veins. Oh, it's like, where's the big dude? So this is a tougher battle, because this guy's elite status. And we can see, because we know the weaknesses from before, or like his... His effects so he resists time delays by 50% he has less health I guess uh, he can regenerate health every round and he has advanced armor so that's that's neat that's fun what about these guys his attacks do pyro damage okay so they both do pyro damage so basically what we want to do is focus on these two bro bros first so we'll do, oh, we need to exit out. So we'll knock everybody back. And then if she's gonna do, or right, they're both gonna attack her. So it's not really worth it. We can break, I think we can break all three of them almost. Most of them will be. Oh, he's not. I didn't even notice that. It just looked like he was. So we broke the one dude. But not this guy. So he's gonna use his laser eyes. And that's pretty harsh. That pretty much depletes all of our shield. And he's gonna get some health damage on us. And we're on fire. So yeah, it's definitely more difficult than it was uh, previously. So what we'll do... Because who is it that... He can't move back anymore. But he can get flown all the way back to break. Or not quite break, he's like right at the verge. So we want to... Get her back. And we'll save his trick shot. We... I guess we probably want to take on... Let's see, who are they? They're both going to attack. All three of them are going to attack. Oh no, he's charging, so he's already skipping a turn. So she's not going to do enough to kill him. We can push him back. I might be able to do enough to kill him. Let me see. The kill shot? Not quite. I think we can kill shot this guy though. At least. So we'll take one out this turn. But she's still gonna take another hit before she gets her shields back. So it's pretty pretty sizable amount of damage and he's charging which is no bueno but everybody's got their shields up her armor is pretty damaged but now he can get pushed back four times which is good um, let's see how we use his typical that move that would push him all the way back but we really want to push him back 
but it wouldn't break him. See, you gotta see, it's gotta say break on it. And it's not enough to kill him. If we cleave, is not enough to kill him either. It would be enough to break this dude. But he's gonna get that hit on us, so I almost... I almost... You know what? No, let's... Let's see. It's gonna be an AoE attack. It's pretty much gonna hurt all of them. But it's alright, we'll take it, whatever. I think it's the last day anyways, so we're gonna heal up. Although the damage from him... By himself. So yeah, it's gonna hurt. So... I already told him, yeah, he's already doing that. Yeah, so they'll get the crit on her and push her out anyways. And that's enough to kill him. So we'll kill the dude and we'll take his AoE attack. It's gonna be kind of rough, but... So he's at least down. So that was kind of nasty. Everybody's shields are down. But he's still got a sizable amount. So he's gonna use Laser Storm next on our bro bro over here. So we'll do this. We'll bestow shields. And we'll tell him to defend. And then she can do Mega Attack. And then we'll push him far back on the next one. Yeah, so it's nasty, but we'll live through it. So knock some damage into his shields. So, if he attacks, and he attacks, and she attacks, we'll push him into the next turn. And then we can use his trick shot to push, her up, push him back further and stun him. Now hopefully, this is going to break through his shield at least. There we go. So his turn is already right there. So what we'll do is we'll do the old trick shot. Stun him. And then she can do this move. And then we'll give her back shield. He's probably going to attack her if she's on the front lines, but so yeah, we're getting some damage on him. Oh, now he's in retreat mode. So this sucks because we would basically combined have to do enough damage to kill him. So let's see if battle cry should help. It's gonna be close. Kill shot, okay. And she should be able to finish it off. Because they can actually retreat and run away. But we actually took him out. And we got a friend card. Woohoo! We're friends. This reality sucks. And that guy on the top right, he's the last guy that we have to take on. Can't handle another death, the unfairness of it all. But he didn't want to fight me, so... It is what it is. No, I didn't want to go there. I was trying to walk through... No, come on. Oh, usually that means you get something. Maybe not. Oh well. 
so we'll get this we'll get some epic equipment here some elite gamer stuff Ooh, dimension circuit that's level four a reaver chip I kind of like having the counter attacks Ooh, these are kind of tough so yeah let's do we'll do that one's pretty good The behemoth has arrived. Oh, I guess we were just gonna fight. Okay. Big ugly thing over there is a behemoth, and it's just waiting to extract Minku's precious Titan core. This is your only chance to stop it. Fail, and the Imperium invasion fleet will be here. So I know this is an awkward time to ask this but what is a titan core? never mind it doesn't matter so I don't think anybody can level up yet we'll be able to level up after this fight and then, yeah we just need to go fight bro bro here all right this guy is really tough one of my guys died when I fought him so there does need to be a fair amount of caution used when fighting him. And I think, yeah, then I can cleave. Can cleave. I think, yeah. You can't move him back anymore after that, but. And he goes into this, like, regenerative state. Jeez. Man, he messed her up bad. Alright. Yeah, he's going for the napalm missiles. But we can push him back easily. So yeah, we want him to get that. We'll save his trick shot. Still not enough to get through his armor. But yeah, she definitely needs shield. She's got a bone. Big time. And he can't move back anymore, but what we'll do. So we'll do that. Do that. And then we'll use his trick shot. Buy us an extra turn to do damage on him. Yeah, now he's stunned. Almost enough to break his armor. It does not reset him though, so who's he gonna aim at? So it did stop him from doing that AoE damage. So yeah, we'll just do our normal. You know what? Because she's probably going to need it right after. We'll just do that. What does the Blitz do? I guess it just allows me to attack right away, but it reduces my, my defense. Still not as much damage. We'll get an arm, some armor break. Jeez. I'm worried she's not gonna make it through the fight. So her shields are back, but she's got no armor at all. What's he doing? Now he's doing the napalm missile. So we can break him though. To the next the next uh, turn at least. And we're finally into like his actual health damage. So, I don't know. Hopefully since it's AoE it's gonna be spread out. Yeah, it looks like they're all just gonna suffer shield damage. We'll do let's do battle cry. And 
then I'll have him already plan to do shields. There we go. Yeah, so that's pretty rough. Shields down for everybody, people on fire. Chica's almost dead here. Yeah, I don't know. We might actually not make it through this battle. I did a lot better the last time. First shot. Again. Even with that, it looks like it's a kill shot. Jeez. I think we're pretty much done if she gets knocked out. We'll see. I think this might actually be it. Might have to redo the battle. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. She dead. That's our heavy hitter too. Now he's rebooting to get his shields back. Jeez. The only thing we really... I mean, we can try to get our shields back at least. But he can counter too. and he gets a portion of his shield back, which sucks. And neither of these guys are heavy, heavy hitters either. At least got their shields back. Gamma Beam. Yeah, it's gonna like nearly destroy that guy. I'd even want to save the trick shot for when he's gonna do that uh, that move to. Uh... Can we restart the battle or no? No. All right, we're pretty much boned. Yeah, bullet hell. It's gonna be a kill shot either way, so screw it. That we would have been good. This is about the same setup I had before. I mean, he can get pushed back again, but for what? Without uh, Chica here, we're done. I mean, he got his shield down, but it's not gonna do anything. We're both dead. Jeez. The way to the core is clear, so am I bone then? What happens if I died? Okay. Increase. Okay, so we unlock some new people. This reality has been lost, but the next one can still be saved. I've set the coordinates for the jump. Take what you've learned and defeat them next time. Jeez. Alright, where do I go? Oh, here. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff. Uh, leave my.
PayPal, or my PayPal, my Streamlabs link down in the description. If you're feeling generous and want to support the channel, do so at your discretion. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey, no,